Hi, I'm Sean Gannon and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about radical equations. And we're going to solve each equation and remember to check for our extraneous solutions. So if I was given this equation, square root of 90 minus n equals just n. Okay? Square root of 90 minus n equals n. First thing, I need to square both sides. Get rid of that square root. Square both sides here. So we have 90 minus n equals n squared. Then from there, what I need to do is bring everything over to one side. So I'm up to 0 equals n squared plus n minus 9. Okay? Plus n minus 90. So I subtracted a 90 both sides. I added n to both sides. Now I need to factor that. Alright, what two numbers multiply to be negative 90 but add to be 1? What's in front of the n? And that's a negative 9 and a positive 10. Right? Negative 9 times 10 is negative 90. Add them together, get positive 1. So, with that, I know my two solutions because I set both of these parentheses in equal to 0, right? And solve, I have n equals positive 9 and negative 10. So now I need to check my work. So I'm checking here, not just my work, but for really extraneous solutions here. I'm going to take my uh, n equals 9, first one, and let's plug it into the original equation. So we have 90 minus n equals n. 9 goes in for n, so we have square root of 90 minus 9 equals 9. Uh, 9's and n's, I always get those mixing up here. So 90 minus 9 is 81 equals 9. Square root of 81 is just 9. So 80, square root of 81 is 9. 9 equals 9. Fantastic. Left and right hand side are equal. Excuse me, making this a true statement. We're good, right? Real answer. We got it. It's not extraneous. But we have two numbers. Let's check both of them. Negative 10. So the square root of 9 minus n equals n. 90. Sorry, 90 minus n equals n. Plug it in. Square uh, negative 10 goes in. So we have 90 minus negative 10 equals negative 10. Subtracting a negative, same thing as adding a positive. So we're left with 100 here equals negative 10. Square root of 100 equals negative 10. Square root of 100 is just 10. Oh, 10 and negative 10 are not equal, right? One's negative, one's positive. So uh, negative 10 is an extraneous solution that we have written up there. So our only true answer here is n equals 9. So let's recap. We were given square root of 90 minus n, and that equaled n. We squared both sides, and then we brought everything over to the right-hand side, leaving us with n squared plus n minus 90. I then factor that, getting n minus 9 times n plus 10. And our two solutions from there, setting both parts equal to 0, was n equals 9 and n equals negative 10. I checked both of them to see if we had any extraneous solutions. When I plugged 9 in and simplified, we got left and right-hand side equal to be 9 and 9. Fantastic. 9 is a real solution. Did the same thing with negative 10, though. And when we did that, when we simplified, we had 10 equals a negative 10. Right? 10 equals negative 10. And what that caused here, well, they're not equal, right? Not equal. So since they're not equal, that is an extraneous solution. Negative 10 is an extraneous solution because the left and right hand side are not equal. One's positive, one's negative. And so our only real answer, finally, is n equals 9.